It's another spooky giveaway. Stay tuned and find out what it is. All right, welcome back to the Mick Golf Shop. And as we did in the last Golf Pride giveaway, it is time for another Golf Pride giveaway. Now, what I think it was is I just got started late. So this month uh, just works out really, really well because we'll have a Halloween giveaway. And what better way to celebrate Halloween by giving away a red grip. All right, we will also have one for Thanksgiving at time frame and one for Christmas and the other two are excellent grips as well So let's talk about golf pride again All right in the last giveaway we talked about the history of golf pride and the number of tour wins and By the time I had already done the video they had already increased the number by 17 that was because of the President's Cup now we're into the well end of year I guess or beginning of year however you want to look at it and you know when you do that you get ready for the beginning of the year people like to start off with fresh feeling equipment and that's the probably the best time to regret now if you go on one of those winter vacation times then the end of the year is probably the best time to regret because you've had all year long to swing you've worn in your grips and if you get a new set, you get that new fresh feeling. And back in the past, uh, Golf Pride would say that a new set of grips was easily worth three to four strokes on your game. Now, that was if your grips were really, really worn. If you, you know, played them, you put on a new set of grips and you played them for two weeks and you put on a new set of grips, you can get three to four strokes. No. But if you had them on your club for say two to three years and you put this on there the answer would be yes so what are we giving away this time this is the golf pride golf pride golf pride and the golf pride tour wrap it is the 2g okay the 2g what is the 2g second generation uh, this was just called the Tour Wrap, and it was the uh, very close cousin to the Tour Velvet when they first came out. Now, what would happen in the original one is it would feel sticky for about a week, and then you had to, if you didn't keep it clean, it, was, uh, it would get horrible. And they figured out how to make it tacky, so there's a more stuff in the grip, and it keeps it, you know, feeling sticky. Now let's talk about keeping it feeling sticky, okay? So we, let's go, we'll do this. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve grips. You're going to get twelve grips. Now I'm going to put these down. Okay, so how do you keep your grips feeling good and sticky all the time? Well, why do they get slippery? Because of that. All right, hand oils. They get into the pores of these grips. All right, this has already preparations already in it, but actually into the rubber itself. You ever been like on a uh, on a, a door jam that has rubber on it? It seems to get slippery or even hard uh, in a in a rubber hose. They have these different things to prevent that from happening. Well, these don't. Okay, so after about two or three rounds, you don't have to do it after every shot. Although if you watch the tour and you see the uh, the top end, like watch the final round, and you'll see the the caddy is carrying one of these. It's a there's a tour towel, all right. And the tour towel just basically fits through a club like that, and or it hangs over their shoulder like this. And what it is is half of this is wet and the other half is dry. And when that guy gets gips up that club, he goes and he puts it back in the bag. Well, we don't have a caddy most of the time or hardly any of the time, but we can get this towel. This is from Club Glove. And you see see that? See those waffles in there? That's what grabs this. So after you play two or three rounds, you get this as hot as you possibly can stand, and then you just wrap it around 
and you get in there and you'll eventually hear it squeaking. All right, once it's squeaking, that means you've cleaned it out. Eventually, this, this thing will get sticky, er, okay, sticky er. And what will happen is your grips last longer, all right. So when they last longer, that's better for you in the wallet and also better for your golf game. So keep them clean. Second one is on sizing. And uh, I think I'm going to save that one for the third one, but needless to say that these are 60 R's. And how can you tell? It's because they're on the inside of the grip. And the R means round, not ribbed. It means round. So, here's how we talked about keeping them clean. You want your grips to last long. Whether they're these, whether they're the corded grips, whether they're the new CP2s that we just gave away, or, or the 2Gs, or even Tour Velvets. You'll feel that they, they'll feel better over time when you use something like this. Okay? So, what do you got to do this time? This time is you got to be subscribed, okay? You have to be subscribed. So subscribe, like the video, and we will draw this in, what date is this? The 24th, we will pull it out on Halloween. All right, since it's a spooky giveaway. And we will see who that, see who that is. So again, 12, red 2G standard grips and they're for you and the last one actually uh, went to England so hey we're, we're an international baby so if you liked it like it well you have to anyway if you want to win the grips and subscribe that way you'll know who the winner is and you'll see when the other giveaways are in and let's see your scores go low Yeah, aren't we always funny? Ha ha ha. Yeah, what do you think? I could probably do a bat in there or something and put it off to the side, do something like that. Try spooky again. <laughs>